What's good everybody? My name is Jay Fatty. Welcome back to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you three ways to automate gross beat inside FL Studio. So let's get right into this. All right, so I got this little beat here. Just a nice little groove, okay, a little trip groove. It's a nice trippy beat. I don't know. Sit some vibes, but yeah, we're gonna get right into automating this. I'm just gonna automate the synth bus, which has all of the melodies, and uh, yeah, so this is the way that I first started doing it, and this is not the fastest way, but yeah, you say you could find something that you like here, so I have this pattern. <laughs> But then you don't want that pattern going all the time, right? So say I wanted it just for these, like, four bars. Go up in here and I would automate it. I'd name it too here. Name it. Just call that, like, stutter one. And create an automation clip for it. All right, and then when you would want another one, you would go over here to the next four bars, put in another gross beat, and then find another pattern. Now, there's faster ways to do that, so I'm not going to go through that whole process again, but that's the first way you can automate. And if you're doing that right now, then these next two ways are going to definitely be for you because it's going to save you some time. So let me get rid of this automation right here. Now, to do so, I'm going to click on this and delete the actual automation out of there but then i'm also going to want to go up into current project initialize control and delete that stutter event out of there as well and come up in here and reset this so here's a better way that i could do that i can highlight the whole area that i want to automate and then i can put in another gross beat just like before but this time i can go up here and hit notes and automation and then when i hit play i can play um, the stuff that I wanted. Okay, so I'm gonna go from 11 to 8, back to 11 to like 7, okay? So I'll show you what I'm talking about. Make sure you're on, you hit record and then do notes and automation. So that was dope, all right? I just went, you know, kind of freestyle there. And it's going to put it on its own pattern. Now, if you don't if you don't want it to put it on its own pattern before you record, you can make sure you get an empty pattern and then put it down. But it put it on its own pattern there. And uh, what we're also going to want to do is click on the pattern, and you'll see over here that it's empty. That's because it didn't register the first initial switch of the automation. So that's fine. We're just going to have to... Um, you know, we can come over here and just bring it up to right there. Oops. I don't want to bring up the whole, there we go. Just bring up uh, it a little bit, bring this back down. I don't know, some variation like that. And then you want to go back over here and bring this down like so. Okay, so it's just for that. And then there's one more step. You're going to want to go over to the gross beat and then create an automation clip with that. So it knows to only be on during that part. This is the pattern it's going to play, and this is going to tell it that it's going to stay on for this part and this part only. So you would do a little thing like this. So yeah, there's a little bit more work with it, but it's not as much work as the first one. Now this third step I'm going to show you is the fastest way. Now this time, what I'm going to use is something called keyboard controller, all right? So how we're going to access this is I'm going to go up into my channel rack. I'm going to put in the keyboard controller under controller and it'll be the fruity keyboard controller if you don't see it you can go up here to more plugins okay when you pull the keyboard controller up here you're gonna see just a little bit of a range of notes you can map or whatever but you can actually change it like this and um to actually auto map all of that just do auto map 
over here white and black and it'll make sure the notes that you just added aren't just like the same note it's actually all in an even scale you know as you can see the value right here is moving up but if i bring this out like this and come over here they'll all be the same value but then i'll go to automate or auto map white and black and then now it's the whole thing but we're just going to bring this back to what it was Auto map, white, black. All right, cool. Now, we're going to link Grossby over here to this controller. We're going to go up to the bank we want to be in, right click, link to controller. In the internal controller area, we're going to click on this. And then down here on Fruity Keyboard Controller, we're going to do note. All right. Now, we'll hit accept. Now, you're going to see when I move across here, it'll change the values up here. So that's pretty dope. So for the keys that you want to be pressing to have uh, the effects, you know, you can go to that one. So we're going to click on C4. That's where we're going to start. And then we're going to just drag the value slider here until we see where we want it to be at on gross beat. And I want it to be over on basic 11. Now I know you can also go in here and right click on that preset to copy the uh the value and then go over here and paste it but when i did that it started glitching out um the thing and then the controller wasn't working anymore so i'm not sure about a fix for that but i know this does work when you click on the note and then you drag to where you want it to be see i'm gonna want i want this one to go uh be basic 10. all right now this one right here we'll just have be basic seven okay cool so when we're clicked on the keyboard controller, I'm going to hit C4 and it should go to basic 11. Yep, it did. D4, basic 10. Now E4 is basic 7. Cool. So we're going to go back to basic 11 here and then start messing with it. When you're ready to record, you can just go up here and then just do notes and automation. You can see that it just puts a pattern down here so you unarm so it doesn't record something else. You can hit play. <laughs> You'll see that it automated it there. Yeah, it's pretty dope. You can use whichever way you want, whichever way works best for you. If you're about workflow, you know, then this third one here is probably going to be the fastest one for you. But if this video did help you, make sure you leave a like, hit subscribe, and hit that little bell. I really appreciate all that, guys. Until next time, everybody, make sure you stay safe and stay striving. Much love, everybody. Peace. Two dogs posted up front, did some rock wireless. They raised from the street, so they got no collars. Empty your pockets, quit complaining, why I'm a whiners? Best in your watching my power with all the life of ballers. Tell them, tell them, tell them, fuck 12. Tell them, tell them, tell them, fuck 12. Tell them, tell them, tell them, fuck 12. Tell them.